which is unbelievable to me that I guess we're going to go full circle here and come back to the beginning of the interview, which is talks about, can you address that for just a moment? You know, the, the dilemma of college coaching uh, coaches that are having to resort to certain things to keep their job. And then there's some coaches out there that are just not going to have it. Like they just basically go, they stop coaching college tennis or they leave that school and they maybe go coach at another school okay. that the administration or the school doesn't, they don't value coaching bad sportsmanship or allow their players to, to do that just for the sake of a winning record. Can you address that for just a moment? Cause I know you might have some thoughts about that. That's a tough spot yeah, that college coach coaches find themselves in. And I empathize with the fact that they feel a lot of pressure to win. On the other hand, though, I mean, what's your legacy? What is the legacy you want to leave behind? And I think when you look at how you'd like to be remembered at the end of your life, um, right? it's not one more one more win or 10 more wins or 12 or 20 more wins will not leave you a stronger legacy than if, if you taught people life lessons. Um, I had an interesting thing. I had a, a student who was a high school student of mine in 2001 out of nowhere, send me a Facebook message saying, thank you for everything. I was like, okay, now explain what everything is, because I have no idea what you're talking about. I was just teaching you math, you know, but you're welcome for every priorities that are off. So now let's take it up the food chain a little bit. Why does why does that athletic director who is an educational professional putting wins and losses over the life lessons and the health and safety of their their student athletes. Um, why That's a great is question. that? Okay, and then why is that university president hiring an athletic director that does not value the experience of the student athletes? And I bet you it comes down to money. I bet it comes down to the greed of the fundraising for the institution overall. And mm. they they justify, you know, it's an it's the ends justify the means, baby, you know. And yep. so you have and you know, other sports it's more it's a much more of a of a, you know, meat factory than it is in tennis, but you know, I mean, I mean college football is well noted to be, you know, get some new fresh red meat in there and let's see what happens. So, um, you know, there are obviously exceptions to that where, where you have these programs that are well noted for their, you know, ability to turn out fantastic human beings. A team player and having good character is more important than us winning in the score and winning matches. So. Any college coach that's worth their salt to be able to say, look, my, my legacy as a person and what I leave behind. They respected their opponent. Hard. We can always grow and get better, but that's going to be basically the same. Not that we were the runner up in the state championship, uh, because that's only a trophy that one day is going to burn anyway. But uh, I told my players, I'm like, the only way that you can be destroyed as a person, if you cease to love, and sometimes that and and that means loving your enemies as well. 